Hey hey, this is your channel, The Lazy Architecto, helping you in reaching our dreams to be an architect. Today's trick is a command, a custom command that I create for my personal use and I want to share it with you guys. It is a smart way, I guess, I a quick way to uh, create a revision cloud and let's jump to it it's this command right here revision cloud uh, all I need to do is be on the paper space always in order to use this command and then I will draw let's say I want to draw our uh, revision cloud in this note so it's right there um, with its own layer revision 1 as you can see in here it's created automatically um, and also the arcs are created to the right scale let's do it let's use it one more time right here revision cloud let's say I did a revision to these restrooms all I had to do is draw my rectangle and boom it's right there again on revision one I didn't have to create any layers at all all right guys so let's jump to the to the command so in order to do this we had to go to the CUI and we're going to do a macro to create this command by the way um, if you don't know how to add a command or a tab to the ribbon I really suggest you to watch my other tutorials where I explain it how to do that okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to look for the revision command um, I already create this command right here as you can see but I'm gonna create it again for you so you can see I'm gonna do duplicate and then I'm gonna rename it revision cloud uh, let's call it super revision cloud now since I already create this command right I'm just gonna copy the macro that I create for now and then I'm gonna go in here in macros gonna paste it and a brief description of this macro it's basically um, so I'm doing two times escape just to get out of any command that I'm using that it's current and then I'm doing LIF layer um, semicolon for enter and for make make layer of course and then I'm naming revision 1 to that layer and changing the color to white then I'm um, doing again two escapes just to get out of that current command now I'm doing a rec for rectangle I'm using this macro uh, special character which means um, which means input and then I'm using the rep cloud command and I'm setting up the arc scale to the to uh, nine sixteens in these cases which is you know the about the right size for those revision arcs um, clouds on paper space remember always on paper space because we don't really put revision clouds on model space that's a bad idea and then we are doing object and then 
L for last, which is the rectangle that we just created. And finally, no and enter. Okay. So now, I'll, all I had to do in order to finish my super revision cloud, uh, it's apply. And finally, you're going to drag your revision cloud to the ribbon. Like I mentioned, um, I already did another tutorial on how to add your own tabs to the ribbon. So you can watch that tutorial. Um, and then you will go to tabs. Uh, you will go to panels. And I want to put it right here. Oh, um, let's say I will put it on others for now. So what you're going to have to do is click on your revision, super revision cloud and add it right there okay that's all you need to do now apply and close okay now as you can see your super revision cloud appears in here and is ready to be used let's test it click let's say i wanna I did a revision on this utility room. I will draw my rectangle and boom. We have our revision cloud in the right layer and was easy to do. All right guys, that was all for this tip. And please leave some comments, subscribe and see you next time.